An adapter object acts as a bridge between the adapter view and the underlying data for that view. The adapter provides access to the data items. The adapter is also responsible for making a view for each item in the data set. Consider this diagram. We have a data source, either a cursor, an array list, or in the database, or any other format of data sources. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lesson. And we have an adapter view on the right that it may be a list view, grid view, spinner, uh, card views, recycler view, and so, uh, and many other views. These are the adapter views. Okay. And this section, we are going to learn more about them. Now, the adapter acts as a bridge between the adapter view and the underlying data for that view. There are some commonly used adapter in, the, in Android used to fill the data in the UI component. The first one is the base adapter. The base adapter is a common base class for general implementation of an adapter that can be used in list view, grid view, spinner, and etc. Whenever we, have, we need a customized list in a list view or customized grids in the grid view, we create our own adapter that extends base adapter in that. So base adapter can be extended to create a custom adapter for displaying a custom list of view. And let's, uh, later on in, the, in this um, course, we are going to implement the custom adapters and the custom views for many of uh, views, advanced views. So we will continue with the types of adapter and we will learn about the array adapter and it's used whenever we have a list of single items which is backed by an array so whenever we have a list of single lists list items which is backed by an array we can use the array adapter for instance a list of phone contacts countries names and so on in the next video, we are going to use the array adapter, which is the simplest one. And later on, we will use the custom adapters in the, in the projects and other projects. The custom array adapter. It is used whenever we need to display a custom list and is also uh, implementing the base adapter. So if we want to more customize, then we can create a custom adapter and extend the array adapter in that. And the other formats like the simple adapter is an easy adapter to map static data to views defined in the XML layout. So in Android, we can specify the data back to a list as an array list of maps, hash maps or other. Each entry in in an array list is corresponding to one row of the list. So this is used for st map static data. Okay. And the custom simple, ad a simple adapter. Whenever we have to create a custom list, we need to implement custom adapter. As we discussed earlier, array adapter is used when we have a list of single items backed by an array. So if we need customization in a list of view or grid of view, we need to implement simple adapter. But when we need more customization in list or grid, we are, you, we are going to use and we have to perform any event click or any other event to a particular view when within we need to implement a custom adapter. This is a, just a quick a recap of uh, of what is an adapter and uh, in the next video we are going to start using the array adapters and with the list the custom views and the advanced views like list view custom list view 
recycler view, uh, view pager, uh, card views, and so on. So stay tuned, and we are uh, we are waiting you in the next videos.